on June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3 by 3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. Location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Eduardo Silva de Araújo. I am from João Pessoa, Paraíba, in Brazil. I am participating in the first step category U19 Rescue Challenge. I have been participating in robot for four years. The main strategy for the robot success took into account the different situations that can be presented during the rescue of the video the conditions created in the code and to minimize the time mainly in the action of depositing the victim in the appropriate place. With that the robot can be first and more objective. The, mo the most autonomous and challenging action is to look for the area. In this action the robot analyzes the positions where it found itself full loaded and calculates the most appropriate hope. It's an experience because during the challenge I was able to learn a new way of programming, just use it to a new environment for programming, and execute programs different from what I'm using to recently great challenge, which brought me a lot of now legend and new experience. Evan and I'm from Singapore. I participated in the U19 First Steps Rescue category. Uh, this year is actually my first year of starting robotics and so iCool is one is actually the first robotics competition that I participated in. Uh, one of the strategies that I used is that was color, color targeting. Basically, in order to get the RRGGBV bonus, I made it so that the robot only picks up a maximum of two of each color, as well as only depositing when it has at least one of each color. Uh, like I said before, since this competition is actually the first robotics competition that I have participated in, I think even though I won't win, the learning experience that I get from this will be very valuable for future events or competitions that I participate in, especially rescue, because uh, I get to learn what kind of strategies to implement and what kind of goals that I should be aiming for. Uh, additionally, since I have actually never properly learned C before, during the process of programming uh, my robot, I had to uh, pick up a lot of uh, C syntax, etc. So it also has kind of helped me learn a uh, new language. Off we go.
In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Blue Robot is full. Looks like a close match. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. One minute left. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. Red Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations!